Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Before you guys go claiming, why isn't this part named part two of the video one cartridges? Well, because it's not. This is a different cartridge video. This is the evolution. Part one. I'm gonna do like a little. It's called. Oh, that's it. Ah, I had it on the tip of my tongue. Playlist where you guys can see part one of the cartridge videos, part two of the cartridge videos. Part 1 of the evolution, part 2 of the evolution. This is the evolution series, so. And the reason I'm doing so much cartridge videos is how it amazes me that I can fit Breath of the Wild in this. Or Fire Red in this. So that's what we're going to be reviewing. I actually have a little paper, so I did my research. That's the only difference. Did my research here. So let's start. Super Mario Bros. The game that started it all. This started Nintendo Super Mario Bros. series, the first one in the series. As you can see, here's a little fun fact, if you guys don't know. They actually put this image when Mario was plummeting down to this doom. He fell in lava of a castle with the ring of fireball. That's a little trivia for you. And also we have Dunk Hunt here. This Mario game came out in 1985 and was one of Nintendo's first games, for, as you guys can see, for the NES. Made in Japan. It shares a similar grey design as almost every single other console because all of them, most of them have grey designs. Now there's the other ones in this video either have black designs or red design. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna count N64 because the N64 game actually came out before Kirby game. Actually, wait, what? Wait, no, Kirby came out before, okay. So let's do Game Boy now. So, Kirby Streamland for the Game Boy original, you guys can see here. Nothing much, it's just the first game that Cur that started Kirby. Before you guys go commenting down, why isn't Kirby's Adventure or something like that for the NES the first one? Well, because this is the game that started Kirby. This one, not the other one, this one. Kirby started in gray, not the other color. Not pink. Kirby started as a gray puffball. Then they made him pink. But that was the original Kirby. So, in my little list, let's move on to Mario Golf. This is Mario Golf. There's not much about it. It's just Mario playing golf for the Nintendo 64, as you guys can see here. 64. Most of these will have Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. Nintendo DS, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 64, so lost, so lost. So, Mario Golf. It's just Mario playing golf for the Nintendo 64. This game, nothing much about it. I've played it a couple of times, but not much to give a review. And like this one, where I even know about the warp zone tricks and how hard it is to pass for that too. I don't much, not much about the other one. So let's move on. Phantom Hourglass. The direct sequel to the game, the Cube original game, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This takes a place after you save Tetra the Pirate and once Link travels with the pirates. After Wind Waker. Which was my first game, so I love this game, but I'm stuck. This game actually is pretty fun. It starts with Link and the rest of the pirates. Pirate pirate leader got captured. Link was Link just almost drowned and was found on shore. Fairy rescued him. Grandpa, random boy, just. Made just found a prophecy and it was telling it to kids when Link came ashore. He just claimed the prophecy was being complete. Zelda. 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 Now Link has to rescue the pirates because at least they didn't copy his game. Get it, guys? Pirates. Pirating the game. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So, and someone commented to me. 
Not gonna say who, because I don't want to. That's gonna take up too much seconds. But someone commented me to do a tablecloth. I prefer a wooden board because this won't make you bored. And it was bad. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to okay. So then, mm -hmm. let's move on to this. Pokemon Fire Pokemon Pokemon Fire I haven't really played Fire Red on the Game Boy first. Uh, I've played it on a Nintendo Nothing. I have only played an emulated version on the computer, which will be part of part two if I cannot get the Game Boy in time. I would just use emulated stuff. Okay. The N64, I know a website to emulate it. Nintendo NES, I know my Nintendo Switch has the power of emulation, and my Nintendo computer, because it's my it's not a Nintendo computer, but my computer has the power to emulate Game Boy Advance and Game Boy games, and I know where to get the ROM the ROM files. So, and if the original Kirby doesn't work, I will use NES Kirby as a backup. So, okay, I'm just gonna put it this way, just in case you know, guys. Okay, so almost this one's done. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Nope. New Super Mario Brothers 2. Yahoo! New Super Mario Brothers 2 released on 2012. New Super Mario Brothers 2 is a very fun game. It's like the original DS New Super Mario Brothers 1. It has near graphics near perfect to me. It has graphics similar, or basically graphics similar to New Super Mario Brothers U or New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe if you play on the Switch, which I do. And the Mario Maker graphics, uh, which I don't have Mario Maker 2 yet. If not, it will be here instead of Zelda. Also, you guys, for the Let's Play, I really completed the game. So that's gonna be something good. Now I completed the game, I can complete it in my Let's Play. Okay, so... It follows same mechanics as the rest of the games. Jump around in a basic platformer. Some are side scroller. Some are some are side scroller. Some are not. I faced some side scrollers before. I'm stuck in a world. I have like 20 lives on it, probably because of the shell trick. Ha 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 ha. But it's a very fun game. You can actually do online multiplayer, which is good. They have challenges and DLC, which is the impossible pack. But screw you, Nintendo. Why did you have to do that? It's the worst pack ever. But let's move on. It's one of the hardest DLCs, yes. But this game is actually pretty fun. It's entertaining, let's just say. You guys are going to go on a trip to Disneyland. And, uh-oh, the flight cut short. There's no more flight anymore for a week. Okay, well, you guys already... Locked your house, and it's not like you guys can go up to your neighbors that are supposed to be taking care of it. Being like, Hey, I'm back. Wait, what? But you were supposed to be in this land. Cancel the fight now. Get out of my house. Yeah, and then it's like, Hey, can you take care of my house now? Nope, oh, you can't go to Disneyland anymore. So instead of doing that. Let's just say you guys have like five minutes later and then the plane goes up. At five minutes, you can do this game. And if you guys find another neighbor, um, hey, I can take care of the house. Yay! While you guys are back in your house, you guys can play this game and move on to more world, you know? Then you guys are in Disneyland. Happy. Yay! Now let's move on to the last game on the list. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. For in two Released in 2007, Breath of the Wild was one of the first games on the Nintendo Switch, let alone one of the first games that was transported between a sort of new console to a new console, meaning this game was originally for the Wii U. It is in no sequel like Splatoon and Splatoon 2, 
but it's the Legend of Zelda. I wanted to show this game because of my near accomplishment against Ganondorf. And this was the first Nintendo Switch video game I ever touched. Not Mario Odyssey, not Splatoon 2, The Legend of Zelda. I was amazed by the Great Plateau and the graphics themselves. I remember to get all the shrines, it took me a couple of times, and I did not get the hair. The Hyrule trousers like it did in my Let's Play run. I barely had any arrows. I was starting out. I cooked like 20 dishes. I just cooked 20 dishes. Tried to survive out in the wild and realized you could do it in an easier way. What? Hey, it's just me. It was just my idea. I have a lot of memories on this game. A lot of them. Shared Nintendo Switch cartridges are the smallest. Smallest there is. I mean, compare this. On the Switch. I'm gonna put them in order here. I'm gonna put them in cartridge size, actually. Cartridge size of cartridges are the same size. I'm gonna put which console came out last. So, say, compare this to this. This one came out last. So, first one. Okay. So, then we're gonna put Pokemon Fire Red. Put Kirby Streamland for the Game Boy. Mario Golf here. And. The big good old bulky NES. Let's put him in the staircase for him, so. Bop, bop. Let's just move these out of the way, so. Mm -hmm. The staircase is falling. And look at that, guys. It's a cartoon staircase. Yeah! Yeah, walking down to Disneyland, boy! To be fair, it's from NES. N64. Kirby. Game Boy. 3DS, DS, and Switch, so I'm just gonna get some one because yay. And yeah, this is how I like to organize my games. Thank you guys for watching, and this video does not have an intro. I don't know if I said this before. This video does not have an intro because I want to let the good people of YouTube see and my last video and just tell me this one. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. If you guys can't read the outros, I put like number one, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please tell me which intro to use and like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.